So we're going to take a look at some basic drawing now, um, whether we're starting with points or lines. Um, it seems that when you first grab a tool, TurboCAD is signifying it needs information by highlighting this character in blue. So my X character is in blue here, where if I type a number, um, it's if I type a number, it will automatically enter into that blue. So I just hit zero, um, signifying that my start point for this line is at X zero. I'll hit tab key, Y two, or whatever number I enter, Y one, with a certain length, um, we'll say five inches, and an angle point. So if I wanted zero or 180, I could hit that and you'll see when I hit enter it automatically drops a line um, that is starting at x0, y1, a length of 5 and an angle of 0. It seems that um, I automatically have snap set up so if I re-grab my line tool here you'll see I have endpoint, midpoint on this uh, line as I move along it or at an endpoint. So that's nice for continuing this on. It automatically snaps at 45, 90, or perpendicular, um, 45, so on and so forth. So I can continue this on. If you look right now, as I grabbed my start point, it's already inputted my X and Y coordinates and it's simply looking for a length. So if I knew I was creating let's say a five by five uh, square, I could enter five, enter, it would automatically create that line, length, again, five, creates, and then I could go ahead and close that up, all right? Um, the same thing applies as you grab different tools throughout. So for instance, if I grab, let's say a, um, center point polygon, I don't really like using those, diagonal, um, I could input a endpoint and pull from there, all right, and it wants to know a width up here and a height, so I could say, all right, let's go ahead and five, tab, five, enter, escape, so now it's another way I just created a simple five by five rectangle. Um, I'm always a fan of when I'm starting a drawing to anchor it somehow to the origin so it's not just floating out in the uh, WCS. So for instance, I wouldn't just arbitrarily start drawing something like this. Um, rather, I would prefer to lock this at my origin and then draw about the origin somehow. So. Um, once again, you know, my five, tab five, enter. And now this shape is actually fully defined in the sense that it has an X, a Y value, and it's locked about the origin somehow. It's not just floating out here uh, in the WCS system. All right. So try to lock or work about the origin. The other thing that's beneficial about that is it's all relative to the origin where I know if I come halfway down this line, I'm at two and a half, two and a half. My center point is two and a half, two and a half. Okay. Um, just because I've started working about that origin. So for instance, if I grab a circle center point um, at my midpoint here, I would know that the circle of that, the center of that circle is at two and a half, two and a half, just by the geometric construction of um, how we created this and that the fact that we created this about the origin. All right, so best practice, good habit, draw about the origin when possible. Okay. Um, so that's kind of simple drawing tools. Um, it seems all of them want to input varying degrees of information based upon what type of shape it is. So a circle single point one point, for instance, only really needs a di it needs a, a center point location and a diameter. So as we saw there, um, if I put a 
45 degree line here to give me a midpoint in the center and grab a circle center point. Um, if I place my midpoint here and then change my diameter um, to five, I can produce this circle um, that is inscribed about this uh, square here, but that was input through the diameter up here. All right, so um, if we were to grab something that requires a couple more values, you could see it needs to know diameter, x, y location, um, may need some more information based on what type of shape, but I'm trying to find a shape that would work here that has more data required. There you go. So it would need a circle center point, or in this case, it's a polygon, it would need a center point, but it would also need to know, you know, number of sides. So we could also say, all right, let's start a polygon at the center point up here. What is the diameter? We'll stick with five and then how many sides it has. So depending um, on what shape you grab is going to dictate how much data you need to input up here. All right, I'm zoomed out, so we're gonna go ahead and hit view, zoom home, or command six to kind of bring that back home. All right, so those are kind of simple trolling techniques or tools. Um, best practice seems to be drawing about the origin, inputting your values as you go. They do a good job of highlighting what uh, information they need here based on the blue. And as I work through that, so my X, as I work through that, I can hit the tab key to tab along these as I'm going. So if I wanted to start at zero, zero with a length of five, and an angle of 270 degrees, I could draw that. All right, so those are just some simple drawing methodologies to start about this.